Next question is from Jeff Carrillo, 23. I have a 65-year-old dad who's never strength trained in his life and is fragile. How would you start introducing him to strength training? You know, the beauty of, of strength training or resistance training, the main reason why, aside from the rate it changes the body and how it gets the body to adapt, what makes it so unique is it's the most modifiable, individualized form of exercise that uh, exists on the planet, okay? So when you go to physical therapy with any injury at all, I mean, you could go there after you're, you could get paralyzed, you could have a shoulder that doesn't work anymore, you could have extremely limited mobility. The way that they improve your mobility, the strength in your body is with different forms of resistance training, okay? Resistance training, very individualizable. You take someone like this who's 65, uh, fragile, like you, like you said, Resistance training is anything that is slightly outside of his everyday life, uh, adding resistance to right. easy movements. You know, I would take uh, somebody like this, and if they could sit down with control, so if I could have them just put their hands out in front of them and slowly sit down with control so they don't plop down on a chair, then that would be an exercise. I'd have them slowly sit down, mm -hmm. sit at the bottom, and then stand back up. And I'd keep the intensity very low. We'll do five of those and then we'll rest. Um, it, I could take somebody like that and I could have them try and straighten their arm up above their head, but they can't because they don't have the strength and mobility. Okay, so what we're going to do is for 10 seconds, I want you to try and get your arm as straight as you possibly can over your head. So the resistance is just their own body, their own body not allowing them to do it, and they're pushing against it. And that would be a version of an overhead press. Really, you just take them where they're at, meet them there, and then slowly advance them forward and modify exercises for their body. That's really it. Yeah, and, and this is where I would look specifically at their stability and, and how they can uh, uh, control their body. And if it's if it's if, if they have that much established, and then I can sort of you know gradually add to that, you know, that's what I'm going to look at. And it's going to be something as simple as like reinforcing their posture and getting them to understand how to tighten their body, where they need to tighten it to be able to ground themselves and to be able to manage a weight. So really it's about being able to manage weight before you even start moving it and doing crazy things with it. Uh, you know, for me, like I like to take a lot of these types of clients, uh, you know, through walking patterns and do stuff like it looks like farmer carries, but it's just real gradual amount of weight that I could see how their body uh, reacts to. Because as you move, uh, now you, you have to compensate for uh, you, you know this load differently. And so how how is there how are they going to be able to maintain control? Are they going to stay tight in their core? Are they going to be able to uh, keep this upright position? You know, and then or stuff on the ground. You know, how can we get up from the ground and, and use strength and, and coordinate uh, you know their limbs and their their muscles and contract properly even to pull this off. Well, we have a lot of uh, a great free um, assets for this person. And then we have uh, stuff that we have programs, right? So I would I would definitely take advantage of the mapsprimewebinar.com and then the primepro.webinar.com for him right away because that's something that uh, he absolutely should be incorporating. Um, now, that's not uh, resistance training. That's mobility work and a, like an assessment with him with like his movement like Justin was alluding to. But that's the place that I would start him at. I would start him there. And then I would also start him with Map Starter. So uh, many of the exercises that are in there are, are designed for somebody in, in, this, in this case, right? Somebody who is advanced age, uh, hasn't really ever resistance trained, or maybe hasn't resistance trained in decades. Um, this is a perfect place for most people to start. Uh, using that and incorporating that with those two webinars, mm -hmm. uh, I think would be incredible tools and a great place uh, for him to start. And you literally could start as little as, you know, the the webinar, have him follow it along, you know, follow my Prime Pro webinar for one of the days, and then take one of the days out of Map Starter and start him right there. Two days out of the week, one day is heavily focused on mobility stuff. The other day is focused on real basic strength training movements to get him going and then build upon yeah. that. Yeah, but what's true for the 65-year-old is who's fragile is also true for the fit and strong 20-year-old. When mm -hmm. you train yourself, all you're doing is you're challenging yourself above your current capacity. So wherever that is... Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll give you a story. I, I trained a guy named Frank years ago. He was in his 80s, and he was on a walker. So he had a very hunched over posture on a walker. And the very first day I trained him, the exercise was I'd have him hold his walker, and then I'd have him let go of his walker and just try and stand up as straight as he possibly could, 
maintain his balance. We'd hold that for five to ten seconds. Then he'd go back down and grab his walker. That was one rep. And we would do that. We did that for the first few times we worked out. Eventually, it was easy for him to kind of stand up and get strong. And then I'd have him take a couple steps without the water. It's just challenging yeah. yourself a little bit above your current capacity. And that's true for anybody, not just yeah. this, this person we're talking you gotta about. you got to meet people where they're at. 